Hi guys, welcome back to the Chaotic Little Book Corner. My name is Acacia. Today I am going to be doing a book video about what I am currently reading and then I'll talk a little bit about what's on my TBR for coming up after. Um, I have six books going at this point. Sounds like a lot, but it's just usually how my brain works. Um, after this video, I will be filming the If You Like This book tag by Jen Campbell, and I will be refilming my bookshelf tour. As you can see, I now officially have both shelves. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm in a onesie right now. It's 10 degrees outside, and it's pretty cold. So I have bunny ears, and I feel pretty darn pleased with myself about this. So, you know, it's cool. So... <laughs> I'm special. All right, so let's just jump right into this, what I'm currently reading. I got this today in the mail from my aunt. She picked this up for me and sent it to me um, from a books, I believe. I was not sure if I was going to keep this, but I'm going to give it a shot. It's Uprooted by Naomi Novik, and I am, I'm just curious I have heard mixed feelings and mixed reviews on it. I like the cover, which is part of the reason I'm keeping it. Um, I'm not usually a big fantasy girl, but the fantasy I have gotten into, I've kind of enjoyed. Um, so I will give this a try, give it a chance. I'm on page seven, and so far I'm OAA okay with it. This one is definitely harder for me to get through. This is Made You Up by Fran Francesca Zeppia. Not hard for me to get through because it's a hard read. It's hard to be for me to get through because it's very close to home. This is about a young girl who suffers from schizophrenia. I myself do not have schizophrenia, but I share, unfortunately, some of the symptoms that come with schizophrenia, which is why my diagnosis is quite frequently misdiagnosed as schizophrenia. I do suffer from hallucinations, voices, and paranor pa paran paranoia and um, I also suffer from lapses and fugue states where I lose track of time and have no <laughs> memory of what I did. So this book is kind of difficult for me to get through because it's so close to home, but I'm very much enjoying it. I just have to take it slow. Um, next I have to break everything up. I have the girl on the fridge by Edgar Kurt, which is just a short story collection. I'm on page 37. It's I'm just reading one, two, two, one to two stories at a time, and they're really easy. They're two to three pages. Quick, good, just basics. Um, I have no complaints. I think so far my favorite story has been um, I don't even know. I think Crazy Glue. Yeah, Crazy Glue, which is the second story. So I will let you know what I think of that. Chalky is the other one I'm reading by John Wyndham. It does have an introduction by Margaret, Margaret Atwood, but it's actually at the back because um, she does give some information in there that if you read her introduction first, you find out some things you don't want to know yet. Um... Again, <laughs> you're going to notice a theme. Um, Chalky is hearing voices of, well, no, the young boy um, in this book named Matthew is hearing a voice and the voice is called Chalky and Chalky has no gender, male or female, and Matthew is trying to figure out what's going on, whether he's real whether Chalky is real, whether he's crazy, whether what whatever's going on, he's just trying to figure it all out, and so are his parents. So apparently this month is the hearing voices month. <laughs> see? It's gonna get weirder. Um <laughs> The Boy Who Could See Demons. Um, another mental illness kind of twist. I'm definitely enjoying this. I've gotten a fair of the way through, about halfway, and uh Again, I'm going slow and I'm trying not to read it at night just so that I don't traumatize myself 
but I am definitely loving this and I'm very obsessed with it and I will tell you more. So far it's a four star read. I don't know why it hasn't hit five stars yet, but I just, I don't know. Somehow it's a four star right now, but I do really like it and I think everyone should pick that up. This is the other one. I'm actually, I'm almost done with this and this is the nail of brown. I got this for Christmas and I've pretty much eaten through it. Um, I'm really not going too slow. I just, I, I kind of, I, I will be honest. I actually struggle with reading through graphic novels just because they don't hold my attention as well as the novel does. I don't know why, but I am liking this so far. And so far it's a 4.5 out of five. So those are that. And then on my TBR, the next book, book six, six. the next books I will be picking up. Um, I do have a book called Gracefully Insane, which is the um, American history of um, McLean Hospital, which is the one that um, Susan... Kazen and Sylvia Plath both went to. Um, I will be reading that. It's a nonfiction, so I'll be reading that when I receive it. I also just ordered Jane the Fox and Me, um, which is a graphic novel that Mercedes recommended in her graphic novel um, reviews. So the next two books that I already own that I plan to be picking up, and apparently I don't learn from my own mistakes about learning to not read darker books. Um, the Girl Who Couldn't Read is definitely next on my high on my TBR. Um, I'm trying to decide between that and Poor Things. I think The Girl Who Couldn't Read is going to come first. If you think I should switch them around, let me know. Um, after that, or along with that, will be um, How a Mother Weaned Her Girl from Fairy Tales. And I think the rest of them I will kind of just go with as I go. And I'm really not going to try and think too hard about it, but I know those two were the next on my TBR. And the other two that I just mentioned that I've ordered from my local bookshop in Portland. So there you have it. That is my current reads and my future TBR. I will see you again in like two minutes with my next video. Bye!